welcome back to my channel so today is monday and you know what we do on mondays it's army mondays so the topic for today is what type of hygiene products do you bring to the field so today is going to be a hygiene um, video so let's get started so before we get started um, and showing you all the hygiene products that I think, in my opinion, that you need for the field, being in the military. So before we get started, let's talk about the field. When we say field, so when I say field, I'm going actually in the woods. It's something like camping. So I'm actually going in the woods. I'm staying in the woods for like a week by myself with my soldiers and we are training. We just training. We're doing a whole bunch of training. So that means we don't do like the necessary things we don't drive all the way back use the bathroom no we use the bathroom outside we do have porta jars but sometimes the porta jars get little you know it's not too friendly and not too clean sometimes when you know when it gets a little packed up in there but people do come out and you know clean them up a little bit for us probably like we're about to go tell you the truth so that's what i mean when i say we're going to the field all right, so let's get started. So the first thing is rags. So you see that I have different colors? Yeah, so I have three rags. So I use one for my face, one for my body, and this is the extra one that you use. The reason why I bring rags is because, um, so the third day, so let's say we stand in a field for a week, the third day you go back and you get to wash, you come back out to the field. So, but until then, you might not go back and you never know what might come up, what type of training you might have next or anything. So, I always bring three rags. And next, I bring two towels. One towel, you know, you can bring another towel. So, I bring one towel, you know, if we go back and wash our body and everything. And then I bring another towel to just do a fill shower. When I say fill shower, what we do or what I do is I get um, a bucket. So actually I bring my own bucket, like one of those buckets that you use to mop with. So I bring one of those buckets and I fill it up with water, which is gonna be warm water because I bring my, um, it's called like a heating pot. Like you just put your water in there and just heat up your water. So I bring one of those with me and I put my water inside the, um, the bucket and I go to the field, I, well, I go, in the woods, deep, 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 deep down in the woods, and I have a battle buddy, which is someone um, that goes with me. So if you have a soldier that go with you. You can be all three, you guys. It has to be female. It can't be male and male and female. It has to be female, 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 female battle buddy. So me and my female battle buddy, we go out in the woods, deep, deep in the woods. So she pulls security, you know, make sure nobody's coming or anything, while I. Put the bucket over my head a little bit, put some water all over my body, get my rag, get my um soap, wash it real good, wash the important parts real quick, wash the important parts, make sure you feel good and everything, all the important parts is clean, go to water, dump the water over your head or dump water over your body, that's your field shower. I'm just being honest, that's your field shower. So moving on next, I have a brush. And I have a comb. So the reason why I have this brush and a comb is because when you're staying in the field, um, bugs come along, ticks come along. So you have to check your body for ticks. You have to check your hair for ticks. So that's where that battle buddy comes in again, that other female. So she can check your hair. She comb, brush out your hair. Go make sure she, make sure that she goes in detail by the scab. Look at the scab. Make sure no bugs is like sticking in there. No bugs are, you know, living inside your hair because that does happen. That is, that does happen. I'm so serious about that. That really does happen. So you got to check your hair for ticks, your body for ticks, everything. So you just check everything. Check everything. Can't stress that enough. You check everything. Make sure you have no ticks on you. And if you do have ticks on you, then you go to the medics, which is the medical um, so they just pull the tick out and place the tick in a bag and they go test it to make sure the tick doesn't have any diseases or anything and you won't get sick. So the next thing I have is a shower cap. That's when you go back. If you go back, you take a shower, have a shower cap. Nothing fancy. Just get one of those shower caps from um, Dollar Tree. Nothing fancy. Shower cap. The next thing I have is 
two Walmart bags. So these are like the Walmart bags that you get when you get your groceries. I actually have like three. So you use these bags. So you use I use these bags for trash. Let's say that um, you're sleeping in the area and a female has, um, you know, her pads and everything like that, or candy wrappers, candy paper, you know, stuff like that. You have a trash as your trash bag. So you have a trash bag with you. So you can use it for your feminine products when you um, go out in the field or anything, bring back your trash. Because you don't want to leave your trash out there, um, you know, if you're changing your, fem you know, female stuff. So you always bring it back and you put it in the trash bag. Then once this trash bag gets full, you go dump it. And trash can that's out there so the next thing I have since we're talking about trash bags the next thing I have is a trash bag so I use this trash bag for dirty clothes so that's dirty uniforms dirty shirts dirty underwear under you know undergarments and everything that's where my dirty clothes go in and I just wrap it up put it back underneath my um cot until we finish the whole training exercise. So now, moving on next, I have everything in front of me. So next thing is this, go bond. So this go bond is for my feet. So you know we wear boots all the time and you use the go bond for you to have athletic feet. And I have athletic feet. When we go out to the field, you know, you have to keep changing your socks and you have to keep putting powder on your feet. So you won't get blisters, you won't get, you know, your feet get really rusty and everything. So that's why you wear foot powder. Hand sanitizer is always it's a must just to keep you making sure you're you know get all them germs away and anything and make sure you hand sanitize your hand or you can wash your hands at the hand washing station but sometimes that water is not good so bring your hand sanitizer bring your hand sanitizer next toothbrush case and toothbrush common sense brush your teeth brush your teeth in the morning brush your teeth at night so when it comes to the hygiene let me say this you only have 30 minutes you have 30 minutes to get yourself together. That means you have to wash your face, you have to brush your teeth, everything. You have 30 minutes. You have 30 minutes in the morning, get ready, and you have 30 minutes in the um, evening time when it's time to bed down. But if you have more than that, you know, you have more enough time that you can just take your time and do whatever you want to do. But when it's time to go to bed, lights out. So that means you really can't see anything unless you have a flashlight. Um, the next that I have is Vaseline. Let's get chap. Put some Vaseline on your shit on your um your lips. I know I was about to say something stupid. Um, so you put Vaseline on your lips. So Vaseline wipes, 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 Clorox wipes, just in case that you go to the um I call it the Porta Johns, but you go to the Porta Johns. Some people call it um the shitter because I mean. That's what you're basically doing there. You just use the bathroom. But um, you have Clorox wipes to make sure everything is sanitary. Make sure you don't catch nothing while you're in there. Because some things be crawling in there. You got to just make sure. I'm just being honest. Um, hair ties. Hair ties for your hair. Like when your body buddy is combing your hair. Like I said, with those ticks and everything. She can, like, you know, put it in sections and put hair tie and if you're just like me I always keep my hair in a ponytail with my hair tie so you have extra hair ties if you know one of them pop or get lost insect repellent this is a must this is a must because you're gonna be laying on the ground with all those bugs and everything so you just want to give yourself a quick little shh, you know not nothing like all over or anything but just give yourself a little you know little spray that's about it um, and also I do use this to spray my cot that's um, like a bed, you know, you, you sleep on. I usually spray this down, spray around and everything, get all away from bugs or anything. But hey, the bugs still come regardless. Next, toothpaste. Toothpaste. Brush your teeth. So I noticed that when I go to the field, you have these people that bring these big, long toothpaste. I don't know why. Just get the travel size one. Get, like, get you like two or three of these and you'll be fine for the whole week. You'll be fine. You'll just be fine. Get some of these, you'll be fine. Next, I have Advil. So, this is a must. I know it's not, not but like, how many here? Like 10? You're going to need about like the big one because 
People be getting on your nerves, you be getting a headache, you be getting tired, you getting bored. Headaches come, headaches go. You got stomach cramps, you know, your period or something like that. Just make sure your brain is. But some females say that, you know, when they take this and they pierce on it, it make it really heavy. Don't do that, man. Don't do that because you don't need, you don't need nothing else to be going wrong during the field exercise. Trust me, you don't need nothing else to go wrong. Just take these <laughs> when you have a headache. Or if you want to take it anyway when you put it on, if you don't, you know, do like that, you know, what other females do, hey, kudos to you. But, hey, make sure you bring Advil. Mount wash. Mount wash. Make sure you use your mount wash after you brush your teeth. That's just me. I just bring my wash after I brush my teeth. Put my wash in there. And um, floss as well. Alrighty. Next, so... Let me go to the face. So when you're washing your face, so like I said with those rags, so I have a rag when I wash my face. So I use my canteen cup, put my water in there, put my warm water in there and everything. And then I use my bar soap, you know, wash my face really good. So first I just put the water on my face, put the water on my face and everything. Make sure it's a good, you know, amount of water and everything. And then I wash my face with the, get the soap, get the rag, Put it in the water, rub your face really, really good, really, really good. And then you rinse it off with some more water and stuff like that. But the thing is with the soap, let me get my soap. So I use this soap. I use the unscented because you don't want to use scented soap. I mean, some people do, some people don't. This is my opinion. I don't want to do that because I noticed that it brings bugs. It brings flies and um, those fruit flies and all that stuff. It brings the bugs to you when you be smelling so good in the field. You don't want to smell so good in the field. It's the field. You're supposed to look, you know, stink, dirty, you know, like you have a good training. So I use the unscented dove because you don't want to bring the bugs around. You just don't want to do that. But when you go back, if you go take a shower, then, hey, you can use the, uns you know, your scented soap and everything because by the time you come back, that smell would be like probably all for you by now. So after I do all that, you know, with the rag and the soap and wash my face and everything, then I use the witch hazel. These are the witch hazel pads. So after I put the water on my face, you know, dry my face really good, I use the witch hazel to make sure all the dirt, excess dirt between my eyes, my eyes, my nose, and everything, it is completely, you know, clean. It might not be all the way clean, but at least, you know, you know, you feel like it's clean to yourself. You feel like it's clean. So I use the witch hazel pads. Then also make sure you bring your deodorant. Deodorant's a must because you don't want to be stinky on your arms. And then I noticed that some people um, use a different type of deodorant. Um, I think they use like the native. I seen one girl use the native um, deodorant. And it was, when you in the field, I don't want to say she was stink, but when you go to the field, you want to get a deodorant that is comfortable with your body and that is suitable for your body and that you don't get, you know, like smelling underneath your arms or anything like that. You want a deodorant that actually works for you. So um, the native deodorant is kind of hold up a scent, a very, very strong scent, which is not a good scent, but you know, you want to use a deodorant that is good for your body, good for your body always good for your body so next we have toilet paper i know y'all looking at me like why she got this big old toilet paper hey this toilet paper come in handy i'm telling you it comes in handy because like i said when you gotta use the bathroom and those porta johns is not the the sweetest little things out there and they be running out of tissue tissue paper towel water any little thing they they you know they basically run out so what i do is Get my toilet paper, get my battle buddy, get our little shovel. It's like we have these little miniature shovels. Um, I forgot what you call them. It look like a shovel, basically. You go deep down in the woods, you dig it up, dig, 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 dig. You put, you make sure um she looking out for you. Hey, nobody's coming. She turn around, you do your thing, you wipe your butt. You put the tissue in the hole, you cover up the hole, cover back up the hole, because you want nobody stepping in anything. You cover back up really good, make sure nothing, nothing is showing anything. Hey, you didn't use the bathroom. I'm telling you, you didn't use the bathroom. I'm telling you, this is a must, this is a must. 
So back to the deodorant. So make sure you have um, a soap case for your deodorant because you know when you open it at this, this box probably get wet and then it gets all a little rusty and peeling everywhere. So make sure you have your deodorant and your soap case. And since we're on that um, situation here, I also bring like three Ziploc bags. So once I open my deodorant at the, at the uh, box, put it in here, I always put this in a Ziploc bag. Seal it up, make sure it's good to go. And I also do that with my rags as well. Once I use the rag, I put it in a Ziploc bag so it won't get messed up, especially one for my face, so it won't get messed up. But if it does, you have an extra one. But after that extra one, um, you probably gonna have baby wipes. <laughs> I usually use baby wipes for my face sometimes when my rags gets messed up. Um, like it falls on the ground, got a whole bunch of dirt on it. Like, dang, I gotta go get my baby wipes. So I gotta get my baby wipes and you know, baby wipes work magic now. Work magic, I'm telling you. They really do. All right, so on to the next thing. So I have first aid kit. Even though the medics will be out there with you. It's better to have your own first aid kit because sometimes the medics be like far, like 10 minutes away or anything. So in here, I just have like regular stuff, band-aids, um, alcohol wipes, um, this little uh, pads and everything like that. So just something basic, you don't need nothing major. Um, just have a little first aid kit for you. Next, I have a toenail clipper. You can bring the small one, you can bring the big one. I usually bring the big one. So I bring the toenail clipper because sometimes your toenails be running against your boots, like running, like, like, yeah, like running against your boots and then your toenails start hurting. So you have a toenail clipper to just cut your toenails if you, if you don't do it before you come. So you cut your toenails. Next, I have a, one of these to do a tweezer. I use, uh, use the tweezers if you have a tick. So you don't just pull the tick out with a comb. So. If you find out that you have a tick in your hair, you know, you look at it and everything. So what the medics will do, they'll put, they use the tweezer right here, and they'll pluck it out. Pluck it out. It's like um, getting your eyebrows, um, you know, plucking the excess hair out from your eyebrows, basically. So that's what they're going to do. So that's you bring your own. So if they're not there, like I said, they might be like 10 minutes away, 5 minutes away. You can do it on your own, and you can just save it for yourself or whatever. But they advise you to don't do that. But if you want to be a hard head, um, you can just take it out yourself. But usually they say don't do that just because they want to make sure that, you know, you don't get any infections or anything. So, next is baby wipes. Baby wipes, baby wipes. Baby wipes is a must because, like I said, if your rag is gone or anything, you're going to need the baby wipes. Just so, case. baby wipes is a must. And you can use the baby wipes to wipe down your um, vaginal area as well. If you run out um, of vaginal wipes that I'm going to show you in a little bit. Um, so, you can use these. These work very well. Make sure you get the unscented ones. Like I said, you don't want to be smelling so sweet. But you do want that area to be, you know, smelling good. You don't want it to be smelling, you know, stink. So next is baby powder. I know they said that baby powder, like, did they probably give you cancer or anything, something like that. But you don't use it for your vaginal area, usually between your thighs, when you be chafing. Usually I use, um, I forgot what you call it. It's a de it's like a deodorant stick where you get off Amazon. I got it off Amazon where you can just rub, rub it between your thighs so you won't be chafing and itching. You know, your thighs are like rubbing together in your uniform. You can use baby powder or you can use that. I made sure I can find it. But I need to order some more just because I just said that just now for the feel. But you can use baby powder too. You know, just sprinkle a little baby powder on there uh, between your thighs, not on your, you know, your personal parts or anything. But just make sure if you be chafing, this is, you know, works really good if you're chafing between your thighs and everything. So next, I have Lysol. So I use Lysol, you know, if I use the powder drawings and, you know, it smells a little rink in there. So I just spray a little Lysol and I have a Febreze that looks just like this, but I don't have it with me today. But I use Febreze too as well, just, you know, if stuff a little rink in there. And then also I spray around my cot and on my cot with Lysol. Just, you know, make me feel like, you know, everything is like sprayed down, you know? All right, so let's go on. So Moat Skin. For your feet, as if you get blisters and your, you know, if you get blisters from your boot, you can take this mold skin and you can put it on your blister, and it's supposed to protect your blisters. It works pretty good. Your blister be cleared up by the next couple days. So mold skin for your feet, mold skin. 
All right, so let's get to the good stuff. The good stuff. Talking about your vaginal area. So what I use is I use this Summer Eve spray. So after you don't wipe off and everything, I use these wipes. These wipes. These are clean up, um, flushable wipes. So I use these wipes. So once you, you know, clean up there really, really good, really, really good, really, really good. I spray. Make sure everything is clean. Everything, you know, is good. Now when you go back and you wash, um, I use still use some ease, but I use a clean uh, clean wash. So make sure everything is good down there. Make sure everything is clean. Everything is going good. No ticks down there. Cause hey, make sure you check ticks down there too, because ticks do travel. Ticks do travel. I, I'm telling you, ticks do travel. So if you go back, I use I, if I when I go back, excuse me, I use this. And then also, like I said, you can have a little um, spray with you if you go back. Now, I don't advise you to spray this while you're in the field because, like I said, it'll attract bugs, ants. Because it's a fruity smell, you're going to attract bugs to your cot and everybody else around you, basically. And snakes as well because snakes do come. Snakes are out there. I'm not going to lie. Snakes show up. They show up and they leave. Sometimes they don't leave. Maybe they like warm areas when it's really cold. So snakes do come. So like I said, I use this when I go back um, on the third day, you know, to wash and freshen up, go back. Um, I do take pads. I'm a pad girl. I'm not a tampon girl. I don't like sticking, you know, sticking those things up me because, um, you know, I just don't like that. That's just not me. But some girls, they do uh, wear pads and they wear tampons together. I don't know why. But yeah, that's another subject. <laughs> but I do wear, I do uh, bring pads, you know, bring your pads. Um, if you want to bring a little extra for your friend, you can. I mean, it doesn't matter. Um, in here, I got cotton um, ball wipe, cotton balls. If I say cotton ball wipes, cotton balls. And I got Q-tips, you know, just to clean your ears and everything. So, and then all of that stuff fits in this little, little thing here. This little pouch. Everything fits in this little pouch. Believe it or not, it does. So you don't need nothing big. You don't need to go out there with a whole big old, um, you know, pouch. You just need something small because, like I said, if you go out there with something big, it's either going to be stolen, somebody going to take it and thought it was theirs, or it's going to be misplaced, or your bag's going to be misplaced. That usually happens, you know, when you first get to the field, somebody's grabbing somebody else's bag, or somebody misplaced their stuff or somewhere else like that. So you don't want that to happen to you. So please um, write your stuff down. Write your name on your on your um, pouch, like tape it, put some tape on it, write your name on the tape or something like that. That's what we usually do. And um, hey, go from there. But that is the hygiene for the feel. Um, I hope you didn't like it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or you have another question that you want to talk about on another Monday, I'm open to answer it. Um, truthfully and honest in my opinions, you know, everybody has their opinions and assumptions about things But hey, if you like this video like comment subscribe tell a friend to subscribe tell a friend to come chit chat with us on Army Mondays, so I see you in the next video you guys. Thank you